गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी शैल स्टडी लेसन टू द इस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ द ब्रिटिश रूल इन इंडिया चिल्ड्रेन एज वी नो द ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी केम टू इंडिया फॉर ट्रेड बट ग्रेजुअली बिकेम द पोलिटिकल मास्टर एंड दे एम टू इस्टेब्लिश द ब्रिटिश रूल इन इंडिया to achieve their aim the british applied divide and rule policy means phoot dalo aur raj karo to resolve their intention the british got many privileges from royal decree means order royal order ke through unhe bahut sari suvidhaein di gayi later on they started misusing their commercial privileges to get more profit At that time Bengal was the main center for trade so the british started fortifying in calcutta sirajuddaula the nawab of bengal got annoyed by this act of the british so sirajuddaula ordered to ban the military exercises of the british in that region but the british did not obey the nawab the british continued fortifying so being humiliated by this nawab sirajuddaula attacked the british colony in kolkata the battle came to an end with the treaty of ali nagar the treaty of ali nagar was signed between sirajuddaula and robert clive the british commander on 9th february 1757 By this treaty the British reinstated in Kolkata but Clive was not satisfied with this treaty Clive wanted to establish the British rule in Bengal so he started looking for an opportunity to attack the nawab and finally it was a golden chance for Clive when he came to know about the internal disputes for the seat of bengal in this situation he shook hand with mir zafar who was the chief commander of nawab's army and promised mir zafar to make him nawab of bengal after this clive accused the nawab of violating the treaty of ali nagar and he marched with a large army towards murshidabad the capital of bengal the nawab of bengal also headed with his army to attack the british in this way in 1757-80 the battle of plassey was fought between the nawab and robert clive during battle mir jafar the chief commander of nawab's army deceived the nawab as he denied to attack the british in this situation nawab became helpless and had to flee from the battlefield the british got victory in this battle they made mir jafar the nawab of bengal in return mir jafar gave them a lot of money and estates too thus the victory of plassey made the british financially strong and also paved the british rule in bengal now mir zafar was only the puppet in the hands of the british the british also made the royal treasury empty in this situation mir zafar was unable to fulfill the growing demands of the british so economic exploitation and dissatisfaction is spread among the common people against the british at this the british deposed mir zafar and made mir qasim who was son in law of mir jafar the nawab of bengal mir qasim was an ambitious ruler he wanted to reform the condition of bengal 
he transferred his capital from Murshidabad to Munger. He also dared to control the British trade. At last, being displeased, the British took action against Mir Qasim and they decided to remove him from the throne. Mir Qasim revolted against the British. He organized his army and fought many battles but was defeated. Mir Qasim took shelter in Awadh and he made alliance with Shuzaud Dola, the Nawab of Awadh and Shah Alam II, the Mughal Emperor. In this way, in 1764 AD, the joint forces fought a gruesome battle with the British army on the field of Buxar. This battle is known as the Battle of Buxar 1764 in Indian history. The British army under the leadership of Hector Munro got victory in this battle. Once again, Mir Jafar was made the Nawab of Bengal. After the Battle of Buxar, Clive made two treaties of Allahabad with Shah Alam II, the Mughal Emperor, and Shuzaud Dola, the Nawab of Awadh. The first treaty of Allahabad, it was made on 12th August 1765 AD. In this treaty, Shah Alam gave the British Diwani of Bengal, Bihar and Urissa. The second treaty of Allahabad, it was made on 16th August 1765 AD. The company gave Shah Alam II the districts of Kara and Allahabad taking from the Nawab of Awadh. The Nawab gave the company 50 lakh rupees as battle compensation. So children, as we have seen, on one hand, the victory of Plassey strengthened the financial condition of the British in Bengal. On the other hand, the Battle of Buxar rooted the firm feet in India. That's all for today, children. Goodbye.